Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool medal here, and pretty much what this is, is a wall charger. If you can see for this one in particular, it's from the Anchor brand. And for this one in particular, it's actually very unique. I actually saw this product and a few other ones available. That very limited edition that's only for sale in Japan. And I purchased this one out of the three because I do like the Pokemon Pikachu out of the three that is available. So the other two was a Raichu and I believe Pichu. For me personally, I like Pikachu more than the other two, even though like the Raichu one is much more powerful. They did have a Raichu one, which is pretty much this one right here. This is a 120 watts GAM Prime uh, USB-C wall charger that also has a USB charger also on here available. So if you guys saw my previous video, I actually reviewed this one and also reviewed this one as well without the Pikachu logo on here, design on here. That's pretty much the same exact thing, but they give you guys slightly different stuff. Like for the one that's 65 watts with this one right here, which I believe is called the, I forgot the exact number for this one, but they do have the same exact thing that doesn't have like the cable included and doesn't have this included as well. And doesn't have the like design of this one so i was actually very interested to get one of these as a collectible option to collect it for myself but also to open up and show you guys what is the difference of what you guys get in this one versus the one that uh, i showed you guys last time let me actually find out what number that was or what it's called really quick so that way i can get like a idea of what uh what i'm talking about so the name of that product that i see right here is called a 735 charger with a 902 65 watts of gam prime and that one literally works the same way as this one. It's just that, like I mentioned, it's different design and different packaging and different stuff that's included. And then see how everything is all in Japanese in the front and also in the back, but literally works the same way. So I'm actually open up and show you guys what's included. So right off the bat, the first thing you see right here is a user manual to teach you guys how to use it, which is in Japanese, but they do have the Pikachu on there, which is limited edition. And right underneath that, or right next to that, we do have the actual product that also prior a cable which is not included when you guys do purchase the actual product itself, if I remember. I might be wrong, but at least the cable that's included, it is like a Pikachu design, which is yellow, which is really cool. So let's open up and show you guys what's included. So the first thing I can see is that's included inside, they do provide you guys a, a cable organizer that has a lightning bolt on it, which is pretty much electricity. And then right here, we do have a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is nylon braided. And it's yellow, like I mentioned, for the Pikachu color, which is really awesome. And if you guys look very carefully on the actual cable, it does say Anchor on there, but also says 100 watts. So if you do use a cable of other charger that supports up to 100 watts, it will work. And then last but not least, we do have the actual charger right here. So if you can see right here on this side, we do have the Pikachu uh, design on this side. The front part right here is pretty much the same as the other one, which is 735, which they also tell you guys right here in the back, in the specs, you can see right there. On the top part right here, we do have the lightning bulb as well with like the Pikachu design. On this side right here, we do have the Anchor logo or the brand name. And it does tell you guys that it's 65 watts and they do have like the copyright for their uh, Pokemon uh, brand. And then for this part right here is the opening for you guys to open it. So that way when you guys are ready to use it, you guys can open up. But once you're done, you can close it up. Just like that. Very easy and very simple. And that's pretty much everything that's included in the package. One thing that I do notice immediately uh, when we do open up, there's one thing that's not included. I believe for the original 735 when you guys purchased it, similar to the 121 that we have right here with 737, when you guys do open it and take it out, this is what the inside looks like. But when you guys take out the bottom part, they do give you guys like the user manual and etc. But they also provide you guys this accessory. So pretty much what this accessory is for, so that way when you guys put it in like this, it will help you guys hold it against the wall when you guys are charging it to prevent it from falling out. Where for this one, when you guys purchase it, it's not included. So that's the one thing that's different about uh, buying the one from Japan versus the one that you get on Amazon. It literally works the same way, but doesn't give you guys some stuff in terms of the collectible option and also this accessory, which is very useful, especially when you guys are charging it on like a wall outlet that's not like fully even. Sometimes when you guys put this in, it will fall off because of the uneven weight. I think for the 65 watts, you won't have as much issue compared to the 120 because the 120 is bigger and much more heavier. Like when you guys put it side by side, you can see the difference that's on here between the 65 and the 120 like I showed you guys before. But here's what the product looks like when you guys do take it out. But let me just do a quick little test to show you guys what actually works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to plug it into my power strip that I do have right here from the Ugreen brand. Once we do plug it in, the other side will plug in the cable, which is USB-C. And we'll just plug it onto this product that we do have here to see where actually it works. So once we do have it plugged in, and see it does work. So whether if you guys want to charge one device, two devices, or three devices at the same time, you do have the option available. But one thing to remember is that when you guys do plug in more than one device at the same time, the power does spread out and it does charge a little bit slower when you guys do plug in more than one. 
But when you guys only charge one device at a time, especially for the USB-C option, the max you can get on here is 65 watts. Compared to this one, we probably got up to 120 watts, which is a lot more power, which is really useful, especially if you guys need to charge like your MacBook Pro. But here's what the product looks like when you guys do plug it in and use it. And you see it definitely does work. So that is everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So regardless, if you guys get the 65 watts or the 120 watts, that is totally up to you guys. But like I mentioned, if you guys want to do like the collectible option and go to Japan to get this, feel free to get whatever you guys want. Pichu one, I think it was like a uh, 25 watts or 35 watts uh, USB-C wall charger that I reviewed in the past. Whereas the Raichu one, which is 120, is literally what you guys get for this one. And it's literally the same exact design. It just has a Raichu on it and some of these like lightning bulbs as well. And they probably got the same uh, cable, which is orange. And they also probably got the cable organizer, which is orange as well. Obviously for this product in particular, if you guys want this design, it's not available on America. But you still have the option to purchase the regular version, which doesn't have the design on here. That works the same way with the same outlet, with its two USB-C option and one USB. So depending if you guys want 65 watts or 120, that is up to you guys. But it's very convenient to have one of these to give you guys a fast charging speed and a really portable device to charge the device, whether it be like your laptop, your iPhone, etc. So I do have to say that it's worth it regardless if you guys get the Japan version or the American version. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have you want these, that obviously don't buy one and save your money something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.